Okay, here we are in our never-ending search for a good tweeter cannon to help control dog noise. Now, this technical hobbyist in Italy contacted me the other day and asked me for more information because he saw my videos, but he has trouble with English, so he wanted more written information. Now, of course, all this is theoretical. No one has a lot of information, or, or at least no one talks about it, as to whether you can control dogs with high frequencies. Well, anyway, I wrote down some ideas about how I think this could work, and I sent these ideas to the guy in Italy. And within one day, he made three prototypes and even tested them on some dogs because he has a dog problem next door. And then he sent me information about his tests. Now, first, let me say, this guy does good work. I mean, these units look pretty cool. So kudos on the speed and the work to this man. Now, there's a little language problem between me and this fellow in Italy, but uh, I got some information about his tests. First, he tested at 37,000 cycles sine waves. He said at 37,000 cycles, he didn't get much result. But he also admits that he's not sure how good the tweeters are because there were some tweeters that were just lying around. Now, first, at 37,000 cycles, even some piezoelectric tweeters wouldn't have much output. You need to look at the graph for that specific tweeter. But one of the biggest problems with choosing a frequency as high as 37,000 cycles is that most, or maybe many, audio amplifiers wouldn't even perform at a frequency that high. Now, don't get me wrong, I appreciate all the work this guy's done, and he's got some good thoughts going on. Secondly, the man said when he tested in lower ranges, audible to humans, between 10,000 and 15,000 cycles, it really did irritate the dogs. Now, we do have this language barrier, but I believe he said the dogs were actually hiding behind objects, which made me laugh. He added to that, I realized the generator annoyance. Now, I personally believe that 10,000 to 15,000 cycles is too low a frequency because people will hear it. Another thing I'd like to comment on, this man in Italy said that he used 5 watts to drive these tweeters. And personally, I think 5 watts is not enough. I do understand that when you're talking about piezo tweeters that you're not really concerned with watts, but you're actually concerned with voltage, the voltage of the signal that's applied to the tweeter. And I don't think, personally, that a 5-watt amplifier will give enough voltage level to a piezo tweeter to deliver the power that I think is needed. Unless you use, say, a frequency-capable voltage step-up transformer of some type. Let me just say one more thing from my own opinion. Make sure you know the resonant frequency of any particular piezo tweeter. There are frequencies that tweeters are more efficient at, and that's where you need to use them. But thanks so much to this guy in Italy for doing this. I know he has his own problem to solve, but thanks for sending these pictures, and thanks for the testing, and he said he'd send more information as he does more tests. One last thing, I'm not a really, really good technician. I'm just pretty good at audio components. What we need is some real expertise from some experts on sound and or dogs. So if anyone has information, let us know, and we'll pass it on. Thanks.